Hello, 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 ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new series. After recently finishing my fifth full best in slot account on Nisa, I now have a base account on Nisa, Bari, Marama, Lilith, and Castle of Steel. This pretty much covers five out of six slots where I can competitively play my characters, unless I somehow want to play on 300 ping. So with that in mind, I had an idea. Do I create another account and just play it up to 60, do some OPRs, get some gear and play more wars? Or do I start something exciting? My very own, my personal trophy account in a way, my very own PvP Iron Man. For me, the decision was very simple. I've had this idea in mind for well over two weeks. Ever since the update to OPR chests, I've always wanted to see if I could create an account that would only use OPR wars and arenas in order to obtain some really solid gear with which I could then participate in wars or duels or just a general PvP and be as competitive as possible. And since the update, you're now able to upgrade purples into legendaries, it actually made it a lot easier to obtain best in slot gear. So that is basically the idea of the series. An Iron Man in a way with a couple of exceptions. I will list the list of the exceptions in the description of a video, but to keep it very simple for a first time watcher, we are allowed to buy bags, we are allowed to buy consumables, we are allowed to buy buyable parts to create gypsum orbs, and we're also allowed to buy tools. However, we are never allowed to buy any weapons, armor, or jewelry. All of those have to come from either war spoils, OPR chests, or PvP track. The series will start with us being completely naked with zero coins with about 590 gear score. So you may be wondering, how are you going to obtain enough money for all these items? And it all comes from PvP track and just spamming OPRs. Once I lock myself in, I can never escape the OPR, I can never escape wars or arenas, I'm basically stuck in those and I can never do any other content on this account. The only time I will allow myself an exception to that rule is if a new expedition comes out or if I need a specific heart rune and I quickly need to run through the dungeon in order to obtain it. But when and if I do that, I will always drop all the items obtained in that run. Now this is basically episode zero. So this is going to be the lead up from the creation of the account up until we reach the high enough gear score to start our very first naked OPR. So with that long intro out of the way, I really do hope you guys will enjoy the series and welcome to Zero to Biss. Oh, we're level 20. Let's go. This is my, this is my, I'm only playing this weapon even when I'm level 60, bro. Look at it. Look at the spikes on the back. Bop. I'm not swapping it off like. Alright, let's see what they've done to this place. I mean, this it takes you to this part that looks kinda cool, right? Like, it takes you basically right on the edges of this cool place that you can't go in yet or you die. Right? You probably see some high-level school mobs, yep. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that's kinda cool. I like the idea of it, right? If it's your first time playing this, and this is the part, and now we need to defend this, I guess. It's kinda cool, it takes you, look, there's schools everywhere, this giant fortress, you're like, what the fuck, I wanna go there, you know? And th th I feel like the games, like MMOs that are like, obviously, the progression is quite linear until you get to 60, right? Then you start backtracking and doing like level 60 activities. But I think having places like this, where you are just encountering stuff that you cannot yet do, is super important if you are like new to the game. Boom, big 30. I cannot, I will go and speak to them. Nice. Um, let's see what this place has to offer here. Open soul trial. F1. This is new. This is completely new. This better be a banger or I'm absolutely disappointed. I even equipped the best sword I could find. Ooh. Okay, I like this little cool little area. Okay, let's see, let's see what we're doing. Okay, so I can get a fishing pole from this apparently. Okay, this better be like super hard when I'm sad. Oh, I like this. Yeah, that's cool. Yo, how much HP do, do, do you got, man? What? I'm snared. 
Wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. I think hatchet is just better because I have life stealing on it. Okay. What? I was not in range for that. Excuse me, sir. What have a feeling I will struggle completing this? I don't think I have enough potions. Hopefully, I do. Oh. Ah, I'll be fine, right? Keep snaring me, noob. I have regen pots, I'm good. I'll be fine, right? What the fuck are we doing? Stop sucking me! Hello! What the fuck? Okay, I have to do this, right? Boom, boom, bam. 1-0, we won, boys. That was actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. I think... Uh, I mean, hey, not bad, not bad, okay? 5 out of 10. Ah, 7 out of 10. It was good. 8 out of 10. Alright, so the way I'll be fast leveling is I will always try to find teams that are doing sirens. I will infiltrate, go in, get one hit. Well, I, I will do a little bit of damage or I'll play for a little bit, but I will always get one hit. And then at the end, you always get a fat XP drop. It's like 17, 18k XP drop. And that's going to be my main method to getting to level 60 alongside main uh, quest line. And that's going to be it. We're going to lay on the floor and uh, watch the silence queen die. Okay, we pay attention to the XP drop. Stop, L Lepi, for fuck's sake, deal damage, man. They will leave because we're doing it slow. And there we go, 17.7k XP, and that's basically the fastest way to level in the game. And every time I can sneak in to do it with any groups, that's basically what I will end up doing. Promising vast ancient knowledge. What we discovered was an entity longing for release. Miradin believed his spellcraft would ensure protection. But this fell power claimed him for its own. As the Crimson Sorcerer, he became the Herald of Madness. When all else failed, I confronted my brother. Our magics clashed, and then... Silence. I was forever changed. I knew the corruption would return. But the power I needed came at a terrible cost. The secrets I sought continued to elude me. But I refused to relent. Holy shit. I became the corpse crone. The curse of Weaver's Pen. The target of foolish shadow hunters. I have spent the centuries since alone, preparing. When the Crimson Madness returns, I shall be ready. Do you think that's gonna be a future boss? Probably, right? That's kinda cool, I like that. We got content ahead of us. A new boss fight, perhaps. This looks kinda sick. What? Oh, they've started it, I think. There we go. Dude, this is cool, they added these little boss fights throughout leveling and I think it makes the experience kind of cool I'll have won this and then if it gave like some really cool like low level drops like let's say a level 40 item but with like um, like a level 40 named item that's actually decent for this level could be like really good but I like uh, the idea of them adding like Stuff like that into the leveling process. I think it's pretty good. Fifty-one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Arenas later and mainly solo questing later. We are now level fifty-three, and if we do slash played, uh, we have played the game for exactly 
12 hours and 12 minutes um, and if you're wondering why this is significant we have now obtained the tier 5 Azov staff which is basically required to be for everything right um, it is required to once you do unlock brimstone basically get everything done okay if I'm level 60 and I don't complete the main storyline until this point I can't exactly do everything in the game so this is why this is super important and it took me 12 hours to get here pretty casually I didn't like speedrun or anything like that so uh, that is now done we don't need to actually do tempest now we just finish leveling up to 60 then we do brimstone quests um, a couple of them and then we unlock heart rune and then we're pretty much good to go. Then we just spam Genesis and we're good to go. So, looking forward to it. Let's go. It's weird you've always loved RuneScape but never reached level 60 combat. That's interesting. Anyways, we're up to 55. Five more levels. We can now get the third house. We'll buy the houses. We'll put the trophies in for the Genesis grind. Um, the gear is already prepared. Uh, obviously, all of this gear will be dropped um, after we finish Genesis. All the coins will be dropped. Everything but the shards will be completely dropped before we start the account so five more levels let's get it done all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see my level is 59 almost 60 you may be wondering you know how long it took what i did to reach this and if i do slash played we just tested it out on stream we have used uh, about 14 hours now this could be done a lot faster but most of this was done through solo questing and arenas now you may be wondering how many sirens arenas will it take me to min max a fresh account and for that it's very easy we just go into leaderboards seasonal versus environment and sirens queen so 30 31 arenas is what's gonna take you if you want a speed level so not that many if you think about every person can create five orbs um you just get a group let's say you complete 25 and then you complete a couple extra quests and boom just like that you will be done right um and uh, the rest we already established that we just completed the main storyline up until the part where you are taken to the mountain home from there i don't continue it because we now uh, obtained the uh, as of staff and obviously we don't need to continue main storyline anymore as soon as we're level 60 we're gonna do the brimstone storyline and we've already pre-purchased the um, the gear required for us to uh, basically do Genesis. So that's going to be my one of my ways of getting gear score up. Another way is actually going to be buying flame cores, uh, which is a pretty good way to increase your expertise. So flame cores, we're going to pre-buy a couple of these. So every day we're going to go and we're also going to do these alongside gypsums. If I buy 12 of them, that's enough for two days. And obviously if you're worrying about like me having all these items, as soon as we reach level 60, 600 expertise, I will be dropping all the items, getting rid of all the money. And that's when the series will properly start. Uh, but I can also open some of these and uh, let's finish off the level 60 now. After crossing this bridge, we might hit it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great run. There it is, the big 60. Sixth account to level 60. We can now key OPR. We can almost begin the account. But first, we're gonna do a couple of smaller things. And that is, we're gonna use our flame cores over here. We're gonna prepare for our Genesis runs. We're gonna prepare for our Elite runs. It is going to be a lot of fun. I don't think I need a guide. I think I've played this game enough. Uh, but I'm pretty excited to get this account rolling, honestly, like, I'm really, I've been looking forward to this account for a little bit too long at this point, so, excited, also, Silver Kraus questline is now available, we might look into doing that one as well to get a little bit of a better bag, but, yeah, I guess the account is almost started, now we just need 600 gear score across the board, which will take a little bit of time. We're gonna try this and see if this thing works. That is the first step of the account. We check, how does this even work? Do you make it here? Do you just open it like this? Oh my god, it works. You actually get gear score for doing this. Wait, this is huge. Hold up, let me quickly do this. Okay, let's see what gear score we get from just spamming this. Bang, 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 bang. Beautiful. We are already... Wait, this didn't do... Sh five. Wait, 514 body. I only got bodies. None of these we will be keeping because they're low gear score. Uh, but thank you, that's pretty good. And now we go to do some... I guess we just do Brimstone questline. Right after finishing unlocking Brimstone, you also get this little side quest right here, which is a 
um, Secret of the Heart gym side quest. So we're gonna start it, and I think my goal is going to be to complete three of every expedition. So I basically have all the heart runes available, and then in the future we can utilize our money in order to upgrade those heart runes to legendaries uh, with the money that we get from OPRs and salvaging and whatnot. So uh, that's basically the planner behind that, and let's go ahead and finish it. And just like that, that's gonna be the heart gem quest completed. And with that, I think I can now. Oh, just put it here and uh, yeah as i said earlier we're gonna probably do three of every dungeon make sure we have all the possibilities for all the hard gems first we're gonna make some topaz potions and then we're gonna use the topaz make our way over here just slightly right of the brimstone outpost or well north of ebon scale if you'd like and you have three mobs here that drop you both onyxes you obviously get topaz um you get onyxes and on top of that you also get expert e-bombs so you have this one being the grave digger or whatever is the first one you make it a little bit up here you have this little mage this one also gives you onyx topaz and everything and then you just make your way right over here to the church and that's gonna be your third um, third npc you can kill for both onyxes and obviously topazes and whilst you're at it you also kill the ghosts which can also drop you topazes and that's basically the route until you get 10 of them and until you get three onyxes and then you move on to let's say genesis or maybe arenas or maybe oprs whatever it is that you prefer to do ladies and gentlemen we moved in real life and we didn't get much time to play but finally the count is kind of ready to start the series okay looking at the armor 590s 580s 590s this is good because if i get um, if i do oprs and i get uh, good boots they would be 594 gear score and they can upgrade my gear score further so i do believe this is where we will start the account however something is wrong we made 26,000 coins um and what am i gonna do with these coins first of all uh everything is gonna be put back here and i'm gonna sell all the items that i have right now and drop everything that's bound to me uh, until we have absolutely no items left on the account so right now we're gonna go through a little process of selling and we're gonna see how much money we make from just selling random drops that we got on the account let's lock it in okay let's lock it in the series is started that means i can collapse this collapse this oh man okay well we are gonna have no weapons no armor no nothing Oh my, okay, well, fellas. Yeah, I know I can't get it back. I'm very well aware. There it is, everything gone. Oh my, my Genesis gear, man. It looked so good. And it's gone, unfortunate. All right, what about this materia? Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. How do I drop it even? Can I drop it? Drop all. Wait, I can sell some of this. I'll drop this later. Okay, well, here we go, here we go. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the day where we will queue up for an OPR. We have absolutely nothing in the bank, absolutely nothing in the inventory, aside from the fact that AGS does not let me drop this, this, or any of the quest items, which is really annoying because I can't even put them in the bank. However, it do be what it do be. We are starting with one little regent satchel. You know what, do we need a satchel? we probably need it we're struggling um a little fishing rod boom this is what we're starting with this is all from quests um eventually when we make money i am allowed to upgrade bags i am allowed to upgrade tools i am allowed to buy consumables any consumables that i want and i am allowed to upgrade my heart runes i'm also going to allow myself to do expeditions that can drop me heart runes as long as i do them in a pvp set and as long as I drop all the items obtained and all the money obtained. Uh, when it comes to weapons, jewelry and armor, everything has to be either a rusher or war master. So only OPR or war drops are allowed and PP track, PP track as well. So if I get items on a PP track, I am allowed to actually keep it. And that's basically the idea of the series. It's going to be super fun. The way we're going to start it off is we're going to go into OPR, try to PVE and try to get 500 points. And we're going to see if it's even possible. And um, obviously, I do have just a couple of things in my shed, which would be um, gems and, uh, well, gypsums and shards. Um, we did a little vote on the stream, uh, whether or not people are okay with us keeping shards. And it just makes sense, so we can upgrade all the purple OPRs into legendaries. If I have any excess money, I'm also allowed to buy shard boosts. Once again, as long as I drop all the, all the loot. 
Um, I, got, I ended up completing a couple of expeditions. So I have like, um, uh, what are these? So I have vines, stone form, detto, pretty much what we usually run. Cannon if I want to. If I need to do more, I'll do it in the future. I think we're going to start off with, I mean, these are all pretty bad. I think stone form is probably the best to start off with. And the rest we're going to see. So, um, yeah, before we jump into the first OPR, we also have attributes to think about. Obviously, we're starting with borderline nothing. And when we're starting with borderline nothing, I genuinely think Constitution is our best bet. Because all we have to do is chop trees and build fort. And I'm just going to spec into con. And once again, this is a pretty risky, risky thing. Because it costs 200 to respec and we have no money. So we have to play OPRs and actually succeed in order to in order to basically progress this account. So the start is going to be the interesting part. That being said, I think I'm ready to queue up for an OPR. Let's go. Oh my goodness, we're doing it. We're about to be a boxer. Soon. Okay, let's go. 